Welcome to this full tech. In this video, we're going to be installing Hacks. Now, Hacks is a very useful utility and it allows you to get the most out of your Home Assistant installation. So, without wasting any further time, let's jump into Home Assistant. Now, we're on my Home Assistant dashboard, and yes, I know there's nothing on there. That's fine. We just need to head over to Settings and then Add ons and then Add on Store. Basically, in order to install hacks, we need access to SSH. Now, I understand this may seem a little bit overwhelming to some. However, it's very simple and it will not take long at all. So we're just going to go into the search and type in SSH. And if this is a very new installation of Home Assistant, you may need to enable what's called advanced mode which should be relatively simple if you follow the on-screen instructions and scroll down there at the bottom of the page. So we're going to select the official terminal in SSH app and then install. While I'm waiting for that to install, I may as well grab a quick drink. So once this has been installed, we're just going to start the service. Now you can use an SSH client and I believe newer version of Windows and Mac OS has one built in. However, if you don't want to do that or for any reason you don't have access to it, you can always use the web UI or user interface. You should see something like this and we're just going to head over to this website here and copy this URL. And don't worry, everything will be in the description down below. We're just going to then paste this URL into there and that should download hacks and there we go hacks is literally installed just like that however before we do anything else we need to restart home assistant to do that we're just going to go into settings and once you're in settings we're just going to navigate to the three dotted lines at the top then restart home assistant so once home assistant has restarted we're going to go into settings by the way what i like to do personally is just uninstall the ssh service for security reasons if i don't intend to use it again and I can always just download it again if I really wanted to. We're then going to go into devices and scenes and here are all of my devices that I haven't added yet and we're going to go into add integration. Then we're going to search for hacks and then select hacks and I'm just going to agree to all of these statements here and then submit. Now I should have warned you earlier in the video that you should already have a GitHub account. If you don't have one, then I guess now is the time to create one. Once you have a GitHub account and you're all logged in, you can then navigate to this link here. And what we're going to do is, is copy and paste the code in here. And this is going to authenticate Home Assistant with your GitHub account. And continue. And then I'm just going to select authorize hacks. And there we go. It's all done. Then we're just going to hit finish. And there it is. Hacks had now been added to Home Assistant. And we can verify this by navigating to hacks. And there we go. Everything appears to be working fine. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial has been useful. If you found it useful, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.